Greetings, Air Force world. I'm Captain Lucas Ryder from the 90th Missile Wing, and I'm here to help you with all of your mustache needs. There's a current discrepancy in how we train and equip our airmen, and I'm here to help that. If you're serving another branch and watching this video, don't be discouraged. Stay tuned and watch this, but understand that this speaks only to the Air Force instruction regarding mustaches and grooming, and your branches will probably have something different. So continue to watch it, learn something, and then close this video and immediately report to the closest Air Force recruiter's office and cross into the blue. The doctrine that corrals your lip sweater is the Air Force Instruction 362903, Dress and Appearance of Air Force Personnel. And it's only one sentence. That's it. One sentence, one table with a little diagram telling you what to do. And yet, uh, we often miss it. The first sentence specifically states, Male airmen will have mustaches. Females, I'm sorry, but you're not in the club. They also need to be moderate, within reasonable limit, and not excessive or extreme. And it will not extend downward beyond the lip line of the upper lip, or extend beyond a vertical line drawn upwards from both corners of your mouth. Your mustache can only grow in the awkward zone below your nose and above your upper lip, and not beyond the vertical line right here. So what can't you grow? Doc Holliday's Fu Manchu's, the Colonel Robin Olds Warfighter, Magnum PI, those are all out. But you can have your own unique blend of that baby. You need seven things to get this mustache right. First, the confidence. What's that mean? Stay strong, player, because you are a champion among men. Growing a mustache is the greatest gift for mankind that you can give, aside from art, literature, and handwritten mail. The razor. You've got to dump your electric shavers and go manual for this because growing a mustache and maintaining it is a fine art. Consider having a friend helping you with this as you learn to understand those vertical and imaginary lines. Put a bee on your head, hold still, and refrain from laughing. As I was shaving for this, I even went a little bit too far inside and had to adjust, so it's dynamic and the mustache is organic. The comb. This is your number one tool in taming and training your unruly beast. Find a comb with narrow teeth because those help bite onto the mustache and go. Uh, the wide ones are for the top of your head or your crown. Amazon.com is your best source for combs. Don't spend any more than 25 bucks on it and order something that's prime eligible and you'll be rocking and rolling within two days. Hair product goes hand in hand with your comb. If you really want to step up your game, you're going to put product in your stash. So what you'll do is you'll just rub the product in your mustache like you're washing your hair and it's going to kind of go all over the place and you'll comb it down and put it all back in place. Find something that smells right for you and that you enjoy because you're going to be wearing it all day and you're going to be smelling it all day because it's right there by your nose. Trimming shears. The shears help enforce that uh, do not extend beyond the upper lip line or beyond the side because you can get in and be real precise with it. Most of these, these razors have little things in the back that help you shave, but you just can't get in there quite as precise as a fine tip shear. Don't use scissors. They're not precise, they're huge. You probably cut lots of weird things that you do not want near your face, so get a set of shears that's just dedicated to your, your uh, mustache and your hair. Patience. The process of maintaining your mustache is threefold. Cultivate, bloom, and groom. So many people tell me that they would grow a mustache but it looks like crap or they can't get it, but that means that they just didn't wait long enough and didn't have enough patience. You gotta go beyond 30 days to get it right. 30 days is just kind of that cultivate period. 60 days is gonna be when you're rocking and rolling in that bloom period and grooming. You gotta go beyond for the real prize, baby. And the final tool is the AFI 362903, the guide. So don't forget to always come back, check that, that guidance, that instruction is what you need. If you're unfortunate to have a significant other who dislikes your mustache, just have patience with him or her and they'll soon grow to love it. And if your coworkers hate it, which they inevitably will, have patience with them too because they just don't understand and they're afraid of the unknown because the unknown is unfamiliar and the unfamiliar is scary. But you and I both know that unfamiliar unknown is brilliant and that's where magic happens. You're amazing and I'll see you at the top.